Bonjour à tous. Mon nom est Marc Leblanc. Je suis le directeur général de Géologie Québec euh, au gouvernement du Québec. Et je remplace ce matin Mme Nathalie Camden, qui est sous-ministre associée aux mines, euh, qui malheureusement ne peut être ici pour des raisons de santé. Donc, au nom du gouvernement du Québec et en mon nom personnel, j'ai le privilège de vous accueillir ici à Québec à ce nouvel événement du domaine minier. I am delighted to welcome you personally in Quebec to this first edition of the Mining Investment Event of the North. I would like to thank Investor Relations Services and Virtual Investor Day Conference for giving me this opportunity. I think it is no coincidence that the province of Quebec was chosen to host it. Not only is it a real French jewel in the, the earth of North America, but it is also a draw for mining activities. Speaking of French, permettez-moi de saluer l'ensemble des participants et de vous souhaiter la bienvenue. Il est tellement agréable de pouvoir enfin prendre contact à nouveau en personne avec un aussi bel auditoire. Je suis persuadé que ce, que de, que ce qui nous réunit ici aujourd'hui est un intérêt commun pour la croissance et la réussite de ce secteur. Cela nous permet également de faire le point sur les grandes tendances actuelles et les perspectives d'avenir et de rechercher de nouvelles occasions d'affaires. If you want to be where it's at, you need to consider the province of Quebec in your plans for the future. Please allow me to start by giving an overview of the Quebec's mining sector. Quebec is lucky enough to have a vast territory, three times the, the area of France hosting the most diversified mineral potential in Canada. We currently have 22, mine, 22 active mines and 34 mining projects that have advanced to the development stage. We have a long history of mining, and as a result, we have developed leading expertise and created a very complete mining ecosystem. As you may already know, companies can count on numerous advantages that make Quebec one of the most attractive mineral jurisdictions in the world. But let me focus on some of them. We offer a business environment that is stable and favorable to investments, with tax benefits and a range of financial incentives tailored to mineral exploration and production companies. And while we do not lead projects and don't, and don't want to do so, we can participate in them. Quebec assists companies at all stages in the development of their mining projects in order to reduce delays and share the risks. With hydropower, roughly 99% of our energy is clean and renewable. We have a vast network of infrastructures offering quick access to United States, Europe, and Asia. In addition, we recently introduced an initiative to reduce the time required for government departments to issue rights and permits, which has been highly appreciated by companies. The fact that I ended the list with this particular and important initiative is no accident. I did so because it reflects the distinctive way in which we do things in Quebec, ensuring that all government agencies and departments work together towards one main goal, helping companies and governments to secure their mineral supply chain. Speaking of which, concerns are still rising coming from the pandemic and the war in Ukraine, which show once again how fragile supply chains can be and the world demand for critical and strategic minerals is no less growing nonstop. Different tendencies and trends accelerate this demand. The digital one, the decarbonation of our economies, and the electrification of the transport sector with its millions of electric vehicles. If we are now more prepared to face these challenges, uh, these challenges, so, sorry, it's because in 2020, Quebec was ahead of its time and launching the plan for the development of critical and strategic minerals with clear priorities and focusing on great assets. 
Quebec has the largest lithium reserves in Canada and hosts nearly half of the lithium projects in the country. We are one of the few jurisdictions in the world that has all the minerals and raw materials needed for battery manufacturing, namely lithium, nickel, cobalt, graphite, and manganese. We also have several aluminum smelters. We are the world's second largest producer of niobium and the only producer in the northern hemisphere. We have a number of graphite projects, including the construction of the largest graphite mine in the Western world, which will be 100% electric. In addition, we have vanadium and rare earth deposits. In fact, we have the potential to develop 38 of the 50 critical minerals of, on the new American updated list released in 2022. We now have more than a plan since we have already obtained concrete results. Some of these will be discussed later today during a panel with fellow colleagues. In conclusion, what we are going to build with partners like you is a vast wealth creation network. We have everything we need to position ourselves as a great neighboring and allied partner for critical mineral supplies and for the world's energy transition. Being small, we are able to work closely and quickly with promoters and other stakeholders and other government counterparts, including at the federal level. We, have, we certainly have a good ESG report as a reliable, real, reliable, sustainable, and ethical partner. This leads me to one conclusion. We have a plan, the resources, the political will, and the tools to position ourselves as a leader in development of minerals and, the, and to provide the best support for investors and promoters. Nous vous invitons à venir constater par vous-même ce que le Québec a de mieux à vous offrir. Il nous fera plaisir d'échanger avec vous. As we would say in French, we are clearly open to, for business. Je vous remercie de votre présence et vous souhaite un événement des plus productifs. Bonne journée à tous. Bonjour tout le monde. Mon nom est Jean-Yves Labbé. Je suis directeur de l'information géologique et de la promotion à Géologie Québec. Euh, je suis avec vous ce matin en remplacement de mon collègue Jonathan Lafontaine, qui euh, malheureusement lui aussi ne peut être avec nous pour des raisons de santé. Uh, for those of you uh, who have scheduled meetings with Jonathan today, I will also replace, uh, replace him at these meetings. Um, so today I have the fortunate opportunity to present Quebec's mining sector. My objective is to ensure that you understand how Quebec has positioned itself as a top-tier mining investment destination. Surveys indicate that Quebec benefits investors. Uh, it ranks year after year among uh, the most attractive jurisdictions according to mining companies. Quebec is rich in minerals and opportunities with an area of 1.7 million square kilometers it is more than twice the size of the state of Texas. Uh, only about 5% uh, of this vast territory is claimed, which leaves plenty of uh, space for discovery. Actually, there are 22 active mines and 34 mining projects in Quebec. In 2020, private mining investments are evaluated at $2.8 billion for a shipment value of uh, almost uh, $12 billion. Uh, preliminary statistics indicate private investments rose to $3.9 billion in 2021. This number includes exploration, expenditures, uh, development costs, and maintenance. Um, exploration expenditures alone in Quebec rose to almost $1 billion. Almost half of all Canadian exploration dollars go into Quebec. 
Uh, make no mistake about it, Quebec miners shipped the goods as Quebec was the largest metal producer in Canada in 2021. Specifically, it ranks third for copper, second for gold and nickel, and is first in class for iron ore in Canada. Quebec's resources are the most diverse in Canada, with the, co the production and development of uh, 17 metals and 12 non-metallic commodities. Among these, the province contributes to supplying critical and, strategical and strategic minerals since it produced niobium, nickel, copper, zinc, graphite. Mining projects are underway for lithium, tantalum, vanadium, and rare earth elements. Located northeast of the United States, the province is close to major population and industrial centers. Uh, let's not minimize this. This gives Quebec a material advantage to access the American and Ontario factories, including the automotive factories, the American Eastern Seaboard markets, and European markets. Of course, investing in mining in general always carries a certain amount of risk. However, the government of Quebec is con constantly working to de-risk non-technical aspects of projects by offering an attractive business environment with a stable legal framework, a skilled workforce, a fast permitting service, best practices fostering social acceptability, and strong financial support for, from the government. The point of doing so is to give all mining proponents present in Quebec the clearest, fastest path to mining development without needless compromises. A stable legal framework is, cru is crucial in business. This is why our laws and regulations are clear and freely accessible on the Legis Quebec website. Tailored tools and key resources person support their application. Mineral substances in Quebec basement are the property of the government, not the surface uh, holders. Any person may obtain an exclusive right to explore a claim uh, on a piece of land that he or she designates on a map, provided that the application complies with the Mining Act and that the person is the first to do so. This can be done from anywhere in the world for a nominal fee per claim almost instantaneously. The mining industry is governed by the Mining Act, the Mining Tax Act, the Mining and Oil and Gas Industry Transparency Measures Act. To facilitate your understanding, all applicable laws and regulations are listed in a document dedicated to the mining industry. To accelerate your project's development, we issue permits quickly and faithfully respect the, the schedule. This efficiency is due in part to our, to our Rights Coordination Office. Launched in 2019, the Rights Coordination Office is responsible for reducing the deadlines for granting the rights, uh, the rights necessary to carry out uh, major projects in Quebec without compromising our own regulatory requirements. Ongoing work targets mining projects, uh, for, for instance, for the last nine certificates of authorization issued by the department, um, the average delivery time was 25, 25 months after receipt of uh, the envir environmental impact study. Our mobilization for social acceptability improves the business environment. We are actively working to build win-win relationships between industry and most communities by providing tools and support to both sides. By innovating new tools, uh, such as predefining how municipalities can protect their local mining incompatible territories, and coming up with reconciliation mechanisms, we encourage harmonious cohabitation, uh, both with Quebec municipalities and with indig indigenous nations. Our tax regimes encourage mineral exploration, offering nearly 40% 40, uh, 40 tax credits on exploration costs and deductions of up to 120% of the investment in flow-through shares, one of the highest flow-through regime in Canada, making it pay to keep boots on the ground in Quebec. 
In addition, our corporate tax rate is amongst the lower in North America. On top of this, the government of Quebec has set up several financial mechanisms to become an investment partner. We believe in our resource and we have the track record to show that we mean it. Chief amongst these is a $1 billion resource capital fund, Resource Quebec, which is managed through the government investment, inve investment arm, Investissement Quebec. This fund is present in several developing mining projects and uh, active mines uh, and has shown to be a reliable investment partner for long-term investments. Uh, you will hear more about this on the panel presentation at lunchtime. Other investments found tailored for exploration activities are available at CIDEX the Société de, and, and at the Société de Développement de, de la Baie James. The Société du Plan A also manages uh, another billion dollars in funds available for building and optimizing infrastructure for northern development. SOCHEM, another arm of Investissement Québec, ensures the discovery and development of mineral substances, advocating per partnerships with other companies uh, in order to share the risk inherent to discovery. You will also learn more about SOCHEM at the panel presentation. Clearly, we can't stop progress, but in Quebec, we go further. We accelerate it because we are leaders in science, technology, and innovation. Our access systems to mining titles and geological information are state of the art. We proudly support innovation and, and enhance the value, the value chain of critical and strategic minerals, key to technological advances in the energy, in the energy uh, transition. Speaking of access to geological information, let me introduce the CGM database. CGM stands for System d'Information Géominière, or Geomining Information System. It contains the entire Quebec geoscientific database collected over the past 150 years. Every year, it grows richer by additional data coming from our geoscientific programs at Geology Quebec and from exploration projects by the companies. All this information is available on the internet for free. The interactive map is an easy way to have a rapid overview of the different, the different types of data. Management of mining titles is also accessible on the internet with the GESTIM website. This system provides real-time access to updated data from the Quebec Mining Rights Register. It allows you to select exploration claims directly from a map, and yes, it's as simple as one click, one claim. Renewal and payments of rights are also available online and secure. Mining in Quebec also relies on the expertise of several applied research, research centers and R&D assistance and support networks. The Consorem Mineral Exploration Research Consortium ensures the sustainability of pre-competitive research and knowledge transfer in the field of mineral exploration in Quebec. CAREM is the largest ore processing research center in Canada. The MISA Group Center of Excellence enhances innovation in the Quebec mining sector. The Element 08 Strategic Metals Excellence Center aims for responsible and sustainable mining of strategic metals. The Metal Transformation Research and Innovation Consortium is one of nine sectoral industrial research groups in Quebec. Finally, the Institut National des Mines supports and advises ministers to research reports, pilot projects, and over 120 partners, collaborators, and researchers from the education and mining sectors. The Institute supports educational institutions and companies of the mining sector in the development of innovative and diversified training, stimulating the digital shift towards smart mining. Advances in technology and the energy transition is, uh, are fueling uh, global demand for critical and strategic minerals. But supply is a challenge uh, uh, because world production is dominated by just a few countries. Fortunately, Quebec has potential to produce and actively promotes investment to do so. In October uh, 2020, Quebec was the first province in Canada to launch its, strategic on, its strategy on critical minerals. The Quebec Plan for the Development of Critical and Strategic mineral, Minerals uh, 2020 to 2025. 
With more than $100 million over five years, we plan, our developing, we plan on developing critical and strategic minerals by 22 actions div divided into four uh, orientations. Uh, and it's not all about mining. The circular economy at the focus of the plan is based on eco-design, recycling, and reuse of mineral resources. The government of Quebec is already funding projects and studies on this subject. How do we define critical and strategic minerals? Critical minerals have a capital importance for key economic sectors, uh, high supply risk and lack of commercial substitute. Strategic minerals for their part are nece necessary for the implementation of major Quebec policies. For example, graphite, lithium, niobium, uh, cobalt and nickel are essential for the decarbonization of the Quebec economy and to the energy transition. Without them, there will be no electric vehicles, no solar panels or wind turbines. 22 of these uh, CSMs have been identified for Quebec, including base metals such as copper, uh, copper nickel and zinc, and other elements used uh, in the composition of batteries and high-tech alloys. You need energy. Not only is our electricity reliable and re renewable, it is also abundant. We are the fourth largest producer of hydroelectricity in the world and produce more than half of Canada uh, electro, uh, hydroelectricity. Moreover, it is 30% more affordable than in other G7 countries. Hydro-Quebec can and does work with the mining sector to offer power hookup from its network of substations, reducing the, likely, the likeliness of needing independent off-grid power generators. We facilitate access to the territory through important transportation infrastructures. The St. Lawrence River Seaway runs a 1,200 kilometer into the core of the continent and opens to the overseas market through its deep water ports. Road and rail networks are already well established in remote areas and infrastructure in the Northern Territory benefit from more than a billion dollars in investments by the Société du Plan Nord from 2020 to 2023. Finally, dozens of commercial airports uh, connect points of interest both in cities and remote areas. Our uh, environmental, social, and governance practices and ethical standards are globally recognized. To help you navigate through them, we offer guidelines, tools, and customized support. We are also the first mining jurisdiction to offer an, an environmental, social, and economic certification for exploration. It's called EcoLogo. We have modern treaties with indigenous nations, defining agreements on more than 1 million square kilometers, or 65% of the territory. Finally, we have harmonious cohabitation measures with the municipalities, as I mentioned briefly earlier. Contrary to much of Canada, Quebec is not the site of any historical number treaties and as such has been able to negotiate the modern treaties with indigenous nations. This has become one of Quebec's greatest opportunity as our modern treaties with indigenous nations date back to 1975 with the James Bay and Northern Quebec Agreement. Dialogue was established on an, on an ongoing basis specifying land sharing such as access to mineral resource with each agreement. Several important milestones have been reached and the harmonization continues, most recently with the Great Alliance. This agreement aims at the long-term economic development of the EU Ichi James Bay territory in a 30-year strategic infrastructure plan. In summary, diversified mineral potential on a vast and favorably located territory, powered by green energy and growing infrastructures, among the best ESG practices, in an attractive business environment. This is how together we create wealth. Welcome to Quebec. To learn more or to speak to an expert, see our, uh, our Investing in Quebec uh, Mining Sector PDF document on the Ministère de l'Énergie des Ressources Naturelles du Québec website. Merci pour votre attention et bonne journée à tous.
Merci, Jean-Yves, Patrice. Quebec is certainly open for business. After that presentation, it certainly makes it clear.